Lena eats biscuits all day. A work of art. The biscuits videos are making a swift, swift return back to the channel today. We are making a Lena eats biscuits all day kind of video today. A throwback to these videos. I started making them in lockdown for a bit of fun and I did find out that I was crowned as the Biscoff Queen <laughs> over the years. Thank you very much. Thank you. It is because these videos that I got a Biscoff tattoo. And I was having a ponder on my channel yesterday thinking what would be a lovely light-hearted video to make? Of course, a Biscoff, a Biscoff video. Oh. I do however cringe at my previous uploads and whenever anybody comments on my old videos, I die. I die inside. And for those aliens that don't know what Biscoff is, basically it's a biscuit spread and it's the most heavenly spread out there ever in my own opinion. And anyone that doesn't like Biscoff, click off this video. <laughs> Nope. It is sickening. More sickening than me eating 10 Biscoff jars. This is something I made earlier. It will be forming the base of a Biscoff ice cream breakfast. There are genuinely no rules. If I'm having Biscoff all day, ice cream for breakfast it is. This little gadget here is the Ninja Cream Eye and it is a fabulous kitchen gadget to have if you want to make ice cream all day. You simply pop in here, which by the way, this is not an ad. Although it was an ad once upon a time. Thank you kindly Ninja for gifting me this Ninja Cream Eye because it has made a world of a difference when I do fancy homemade ice cream. You twist it, you lock it in, and you mix it. Genuinely dudes, it makes the perfect ice cream. So we're gonna simply just scoop her out like so. Now tell me this is not perfection. The base ingredients are just some yogurt, my Speculis Biscoff protein powder that I brought out with my vegan last year. Which is very fitting for this video. And that's pretty much it. You freeze it in the freezer overnight, pop it in the ice cream maker, and it's just like magic. I mean, she already looks incredible, but here comes the real good stuff. What is a Biscoff day without Biscoff biscuits? And the finale for this Biscoff heavenly breakfast dessert. Oh, how god! This is actual perfection and a great start to the day, if you ask me. I would just like to thank me. I want to thank me. For thinking of this last night, proposing it to you guys on the gram, on my stories, and you guys saying yes. Honestly, incredible. This is where it matters most, the eating part. Something you'll have to know about me is that when it comes to base golf, I can put it in anything and I will always get the same reaction. Incredible. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> It is time for a pre-workout snack and what better way to do it than cover it in Biscoff. We've got a base here of Vitafiber and my Sweet Protein Isolate Speculose Protein Powder. And if you guys know what I'm making, you are the real MVP. We are making my homemade Biscoff bars. To add to the base ingredients, we're gonna add almond milk. And we're just gonna mix her up. Once she's mixed all together, we're gonna press her down into a baking tray lined with baking paper. We're gonna melt some Biscoff with some coconut oil. Pop that in the microwave for 30 seconds to combine. Spread her on top of the base. Sprinkle on some Biscoff biscuits. And then pop her in the freezer for a good 10 minutes whilst we make our Biscoff iced coffee, of course. Okay, so whilst the protein bars are setting, I'm gonna be making myself a Biscoff iced coffee. Now, I've seen this trick where this too comes in handy. We're going to get the Biscoff spread that I melted again at the bottom of the glass. And we're gonna basically get some on there, like so. Oh yeah. oh yeah, that is perfect. Guys, that has worked beautifully. That is genuinely a work of art. So now it's just the usual iced coffee scene. We're gonna pop some ice in. Almond milk is my go-to, my plant-based milk of choice. I've got some extra cold frothing in the background there. Whilst I flavor the coffee with this toffee drop, they actually do have a butter biscuit flavor, my protein, um, but I don't have that because it isn't the best. And there she is, my iced latte. I'm gonna really have to think of some good adjectives to describe the masterpieces that I'm making in this video, other than fabulous. But I gotta say, it is fabulous. Protein bars are ready! A Biscoff protein bar and a Biscoff iced latte. The perfect pre-workout snack, a snack, snack overall. Delightful.
We're back from the gym and you may be hearing the air fryer popping off because we're making some loaded nachos. Cheesy Biscoff loaded nachos. And before you scream at me, I've seen it on TikTok and the things I've seen on TikTok, tried and tested, they are quite trustworthy. So I'm trusting this little thing that I've seen. Oh my days, this combination absolutely bangs. Who would have thought Biscoff and cheese would go so well on fries? All you need to do is oil your pan. Add two spoonfuls of Biscoff into your pan and some mozzarella cheese. Allow that to melt. Place it on top of your chips. Bruh. So usually in a nacho bowl, you have the nachos, which I'm making some white potato nachos. You've got the filling, which I'm making like a soya, black bean, tomato filling to go alongside of that. And then you've got some cheese element. At least that's how I do my nacho bowls. So the recipe called for cheese. And you know what's next? A dollop of Biscoff. So that is what we're going with. And you want to combine the two together. So I don't want to burn it. So I'm not going to like fry it for too long. I've obviously got my Lotus Biscoff spoon here as well. So company in it. Let's just hope it all comes together and looks and tastes great. The actual bowl itself looks exquisite, but the Biscoff cheesy element to the bowl is freaking me out a little bit. So I've got a chip here that we're going to try the cheesy Biscoff. I can definitely taste the Biscoff in it. As I did put a wall up in this off this off in there, but it just tastes like cheese to be honest. Here's another little slice on the chip there. It truly really just tastes like sweet cheese. <laughs> I reckon that it's good for this video as I'm eating Biscoff all day to some degree. There's a little close up of the chip with some Biscoff cheese, but I think we're not gonna be doing this again. Purely for the fun of it, great, but cheesy Biscoff, another thing to accompany it though something that we already know i love i make it all the time is my biscoff protein bar what i've learned from this is that i think dinner is gonna have to be sweet a sweet dinner i can stand that but i can't stand another savory biscoff meal the two and two just don't go together i mean who else has biscoff jars stacked up in their room as ornaments i would just like to insert here that it is my lifelong mission to visit the biscoff hq sometime in my lifetime and if that does happen I know I lived a very fulfilling life. We have gone Italiano for dinner, Biscoff style. I have made Biscoff Fettuccine Pancake Pasta. It looks like an absolute masterpiece. I'm sure it will taste like an absolute masterpiece. Essentially, it's crepe shaped like pasta. Fantastic. I'm gonna end this video right here. Hopefully you enjoyed this Biscoff video, much like the others. Let me know if you did by giving me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you like to see more from me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I am actually dying at how dramatic I am being in this clip. It's as if I haven't tasted Biscoff before. Girl, you eat it every day.